So welcome back. Uh, this is uh, part three of the uh, videos uh, showing how Interact AS is being used by educators throughout the uh, throughout the country. And uh, before I jump onto the uh, next uh, section here, um, I, I remember that uh, I forgot to show the handwriting recognition. So uh, uh, let's jump back to uh, uh, finish off the uh, previous uh, uh, video. And what I'm going to do here is uh, launch uh, Interact AS again. And uh, what I can do is uh, use my tablet PC now. And uh, as I uh, write something in this uh, uh, top box here, what will pop up is this uh, dialogue for uh, recognizing text. And I like, uh, personally, I like docking this at the top of the screen. And so now I can just simply uh, write a sentence. So something, I don't know, uh, this is an example of a uh, sentence. And uh, yep. there we go, sentence. Um, and so, again, that's, uh, as it says there, it's just an example of a sentence. This is an example of a sentence. And that gets voiced out loud. So anything that I write um, now, again, gets verbalized. And uh, later I'll show you how that can also get translated. And why is this important? Um, back to one of the requirements that we had was that uh, people really wanted a system they could use anywhere at any time. And so when we were talking about uh, just supporting typing input, um, this is again for somebody that doesn't have the ability to speak, um, you need to find that flat surface. And so now with this handwriting uh, recognition, what I can do is have a small tablet PC, um, something like in a, the size of an iPad sort of deal, and with that I can hold that tablet with say my left hand and write with my right hand. And as I'm writing, whatever I'm writing is going to be voiced out loud. And as that person, the second person in the conversation speaks, I'm going to see a closed captioning of what they say. So even though um, I'm deaf and do not have the ability to speak, I can have a conversation with somebody who doesn't know sign language and do that anywhere, anytime. Again, I'm holding uh, the tablet with uh, one hand, writing with the other, um, and anything that I'm writing is getting voiced out loud and anything the other person is saying, I'm seeing a closed caption transcript of that. So again, just all part of the capabilities that are uh, built into uh, this particular line of products. So let's jump back over to the uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation and we'll uh, uh, jump uh, into this uh, next section. And here what we're talking about is the ability to scribe answers. So using your voice, uh, to answer homework assignments or the like. And so this is for students that for a variety of reasons uh, ha may have difficulty uh, typing or writing, uh, but they do have verbal skills. And so instead of relying on a person to come over and scribe answers for them, or having a teacher uh, spend that extra time giving an oral exam versus the written exam, now that student has the independence to answer test questions or complete homework assignments on their own using this uh, software product in order to uh, voice their answers. So let's uh, jump over here and I'm going to give my voice a little break here and uh, we'll just show a video clip of uh, one teacher's experience. So I'll let, uh, let her chat about this a little bit. I think I'll tell you a little bit of information about a student we have in our Read 180 program. Uh, this particular student was very hesitant as far as getting his work done on worksheets. It was difficult for him to be able to um, take the information that he had in his head and try to get it onto paper. Uh, oftentimes he would wait um, until someone, one of the teachers or the EAs, would come to him and ask if he could help. Um, many times that even a day or two might go by, and unless his hand was raised or we went around to help him in particular, the work didn't get done. Um, when speech gear was introduced, um, this particular student, after uh, it was demonstrated to him, was very excited about being able to um, take this particular technology and be able to use it within his work. The first time that um, our sixth grade student used uh, this particular technology, speech gear, um, he was so excited because he came back to the classroom. He was able to um, put down in words to dictate um, orally what his answers to the questions were. It then produced that information uh, and was able to print that out. He, on his own, cut it out, um, pasted it in the correct spot that coordinated. 
coordinated with the question that uh, were being asked of him, came back with a huge smile because he knew he had been able to do it himself. And in the past, he had to wait to have someone either scribe for him or constantly encourage him to be able to do the work himself. So it's been a fantastic program for our particular students, and hopefully others will be able to benefit in the same manner. So that's just uh, one example of uh, a teacher's experience, and hopefully you could uh, hear that audio. It's kind of fuzzy there, um, but uh, if, if you want to uh, see that video uh, for yourself, if you go to uh, www.speechgear.com, uh, you'll be able to uh, link to that. You'll see our YouTube channel. Uh, but to summarize what you were saying, um, in this case, a, a student on his own uh, found the software uh, on the computer and started using it. And so instead of waiting for that uh, individual to come over and scribe answers to the homework assignments, um, he did it on his own. And when that uh, uh, supervisor or teacher came over uh, to start the process, uh, she was surprised uh, that it had already been completed. Um, and so lots of things happening here. Um, a big one in my mind is that the student on his own did this, found the software, just started using it. So there wasn't any... Uh, user manual that he read through or any training session or something like this. So that gets back to uh, one of the uh, key requirements here is that the software be really easy to use. So again, uh, the focus of this section is that you can use your voice to enter text and uh, from that uh, very easily uh, uh, answer uh, homework assignments, test questions, anything like that. So uh, let's wrap up this one and then we'll uh, move on to the uh, next section. Uh, where we talk about text readers.